Welcome back, everybody. This is Cool T Tech saying hello. How you doing? What's new? What's going on? Just checking in with everybody. Thank you for checking out YouTube channel Cool T Tech. Link in the bio. Not, there's no link in the bio, but I thought I'd say like, so. Have how's everybody doing? What's going on? It's almost the new year. How was your Christmas? If you celebrate Christmas or any other kind of holiday, happy holidays, happy Merry Christmas, and everything else. I'm not sure what everybody celebrates. I don't want to be rude, disrespectful. So thank you for checking it out. If you guys want, uh, this is going to be an unboxing on a final mouse slash kind of review. We've been, it's not really an unboxing, it's more of a review. We've been using it for months, so let me show you. We're going to do the Starlight 12 Poseidon mouse. And the coolest part about this mouse is actually we are a water sign. We're a cancer for her birthday. And our main thing that we're strong with is water. So it's kind of cool to have a Poseidon mouse when your sign is water as well. All right, let me go switch it around. If you guys want to talk about anything, like, comment, subscribe down below. Tell your friends, your family. We'll link the rest of the tech videos on top right corner. If we're saying it wrong, and links down below. This one, it is, I bought it uh, brand new on eBay a while ago. So I don't know. I really can't really put a price tag on it. I can't really recall. It's over $200. I know that much. But the other thing about it is also I can't really find links other than stock X I found that you guys can look into. I will put this. This is the medium size. If you notice the M right. Sorry, the M over here. All right, let's open this up. Let me switch camera over and we'll talk about it. How we think, what we think about it, what we like, we, what it doesn't like. All right, so let's move. This is our razor mouse. So we'll move that out of the way. Really don't need it. It's already been opened and used. But it comes with a blue mouse. So let's take a look. White PFC feet. The only thing, I, they're really shiny, they're nice. It is light. Lightweight. Let me get my scale for a sec. I forgot about the scale. So let's see. Sorry about that. I forgot to grab my scale. That's, since I mentioned the weight, let's get this on here. You guys can see this. Let's go. Hold on. We gotta switch this to grams. So I'll move it over so you guys can see a little bit better. It is zero zeroed out. So if you notice, it is 48.7 grams weight. So that is nice. I like the shape of it. I like the right and left click on the right side because I am a right handed. The, it is not bad. It is cool magnesium material, so it feels cool to the touch. So it's actually good because my hands are always hot. There is no software, so that's not a good thing about it. But it comes with a good mouse. Like, I'm used to using the Razer Viper Beach Viper Ultimate. And that comes in at 74.9 grams. So that's a decent amount of grams, over 20 grams lower than the other one. That doesn't, you don't notice that, but if when you start using the lighter mouse and after a while you go back to the heavier one when you need to charge it because you forget to charge it every night, that thing feels pretty heavy <laughs> if you're playing FPS games like Call of Duty or something like that. So let's stop, let's take the scale away, we'll put that somewhere behind us, and let's see what the rest of the box comes in. And the instructions are on top of the box, so if you see, so let's get that out. Oh, actually, there's no instructions. I thought there was. It's just a padding there, like a nice soft padding. So here's the receiver. It's a circle receiver with micro USB. So that's the only thing I did that I not like about it because everything is becoming USB-C. So this is still micro USB-C. But the cool, it is light, but there's a lot of holes, honeycomb hole styles. At least in the sides, it's a little bit more long version than squared off because that makes it easier so you don't feel it as much and let's look underneath so yeah. dongle so you got the USB C sorry USB A to micro USB and the other thing is you can't put the dongle with any other USB other than the cable it comes with it's like specialized software that uh, something in their cable that detects itself because I tried other cables so I had the charging cable Separate with this, so I didn't lose them. I didn't separate them. There is a rubber feet on two on the sides, and tells so it helps it not move as much. And it's a decent look. I think it's a six footer. 
that's what it feels like to me it's, it is power cord and it is pretty flexible so if you really want to use it it's kind of heavier it's not as flexible as some other mouse but there's no, here are the instructions it's underneath the mouse where the cable comes in I got it confused with the top it's to kind of look like the same thing but here's the instructions there's instructions they come with the mouse and it tells you about it how you turn it on and off it's on the bottom so now it's off you can see that and then yep now it's off so we can turn it back on they do so it's green when it's fully charged orange when it's low and red when it's pretty much about to die and the cool part is it does show those colors when it's charging as well you don't see it but you can see the battery near on the bottom it is pretty solid the only flex i have i've used it for over six months i know i said <laughs> unbox it's more of a view view but since we didn't do it yet it is pretty flexible on the sides you can see the little opening right here if i can angle it correctly you can feel that but it's not bad i just hope it doesn't fall apart because i do like it we did get the newer version as well so we'll have that up another video of that as well but it came with another card. I don't know what the card is. I never really t look inside of this thing. There we go. Oh, just final mouse information. And telling you what the mouse is, the website, the support website. And the DPI is 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. So I would, I normally use it 800. That's the best thing I've noticed. I can't do 200, it's too slow for me. The 1600 gets pretty fast and 3200 is even faster. I don't know what the max DPI is for it, but it's cool. If anyone has any questions, let's talk more about the mouse. Let's put everything back. Actually, see, we're putting it all wrong already. So the instructions go underneath. That guy's there, then you get go and go. Let's put this on the side over here. But it is nice. The only thing is I do use a as Artisan Ninja FX, I think medium grade, not soft, extra soft or medium soft. Extra soft or soft, I can't recall. The only thing I notice is the PFs, the feet. Since I've been using this and it's a little, so it's supposed to be good for stopping and stuff. You can see it start damaging the feet, I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel it with my nail that it has uh, like lines in between the feet. So it, you do, after a while, you want to replace them, get some better quality ones. I wouldn't put, since it's so light, I wouldn't put glass skates on this, but that's my recommendation. That's You can take it as how you want it for anyone else. But for me, I won't do that. It's already pretty fast. It's good flex. It's good movement and everything else. The only thing I would recommend if they can do something better for the next next batch is to have an option that it can work with the dongle can work with any cable just to have a backup so you don't have to take it off and put it back and forth and make sure you don't lose the dongle because I know if you try to put it inside the mouse to charge it it has to go a certain way it is micro USB but it also has like a little divs or whatever you want to call them on um, mounts area so it doesn't no other charger can go with it. Since this is a limited offer, do they offer a replacement cable if something happens? That's the one thing I don't understand about that. I love the mouse. I do love it. But there is a little bit of things like extra cables they want to sell for their products or anything like that. Is there any websites that anyone knows you want to mention on the comment down below? I like the score wheel. It's not bad. I like how you can see clearly. And the design is not cool. That is cool. I don't know if it's anything dealing with Poseidon because I really don't know a lot about him. But I like it. It's, the cool part is it has the information on the bottom. It's small, but it's not covering the whole mouse. So you can see everything still, the components and everything, the circuitry inside. And they used the batch I have for this one. The battery hasn't moved, so I love that. Because I, I don't want to rattle, like a rattle, kid's rattle to happen. Mm. All right, let's go back. So the, the the positive of this mouse is lightweight, it is flexible, it does last I think more than 80 hours. I use it for two to three weeks, three weeks or more.
before I have to charge it fully. And it takes maybe two, three hours to charge, maybe longer. I can't remember what the information says. But my experience, it's not too long. It's good quality. And if you really have no other mouse and you have to use it, you can use it with the cable when it's charging. It's automatic. It detects itself. So it doesn't have to have the dangle hooked up to it. And it's cool. The negative things I will say is the cable. Have a backup cable. It never hurts to have an extra cable. Or even let the dongle work with another cable. Or shell some cables. It is the one thing I also recommend is I know it's plastic underneath and then magnesium. But get them to stop making so, piece, so many pieces. Try to do it bigger together because then you have areas that are flexing. Like this and the sides right over here. I can feel the flex. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Because then how, if something happens to the mouse and that breaks, you have to buy a whole new mouse. You can't just get parts to replace it. You can probably 3D print it, but if you want to have the same color as the old mouse, you know what I mean? All right, let me go back over here. I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm using the wrong mouse, you see? And the cool part, I have these guy too. It is a Dell hub, whatever, I can't seem to say it. It makes it a easier, simple, and stuff like that. Let me go into my other mouse. Hold on one sec. Switch back to myself. I'm using two different webcams to do this till I set up another way of recording overhead unboxings and stuff like that because before I was just pointing it to my face and lifting it up and just doing it far away but if you notice my background I have a lot of things to do I have a couple systems I want to build a bedroom PC I mentioned in another video I'm probably going to mention a NAS full-on NAS I have a little NAS right now I'm learning how to use but I want to build an Unraid system Unraid NAS system upgrade a couple of components of my PC and I have other components for the a secondary PC that's going to be probably my test bench PC for testing out components, fans, and everything else. Like, comment, subscribe, anything you guys want to talk about, like, mention down below. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you for checking out YouTube channel Cool T-Tech. Tell your friends, your family, and have a good evening. Bye.